going to discuss the importance of ballasting your tractor. First, I'm going to talk about ballasting your tractor with the loader. When you pick something up with the loader, your focal point is the front axle. So that means your back end is going to get lighter. If you have a loader, you should have fluid in your tires. You can use calcium, which is not that good. It'll rust up your wheels. You can use methanol. And there's also rim guard, which is beet juice, which is very heavy and supposed to be really good. So you should have that just to help offset the weight of the loader on the tractor itself. That does not mean it is enough ballast to be operating the loader on the tractor. You need something heavy hanging on the back with a three-point hitch. Even a light-duty box blade or scraper blade is not enough on a tractor this size. When you pick up something heavy on the loader on your tractor, if you do not have a ballast, it is going to unload the rear axle. With the rear axle unloaded, now the front axle is carrying not only the weight of what you have on the loader, but carrying the weight of the rear end of the tractor. So you could easily, on a tractor this size, you could be carrying five or 6,000 pounds on the front axle, maybe even more. So you're overloading the front axle. If you do this repeatedly, you're going to crack your front axle. It is best to look in your owner's manual to see if the manufacturer recommends how much to ballast your tractor for use with the loader. Now I'm going to show you some different situations and how this tractor performs with and without a ballast. Since you're not wasting time spinning your tires, you're actually saving time and fuel. I left it two-wheel drive for the after portion of the video, just as I did in the before the ballast. And you can see how I was able to push more with the loader. I was able to back up the two-wheel drive, did not spin, and how the tractor did not squat when I picked up the bucket full of dirt like it did before. When most people think of ballasting, or think of ballasting for use with a loader. But it's still very important to put ballast on the front end of the tractor if you do not have a loader for doing three-point hitch work. It's even more important on a tractor that is four-wheel drive because you need to keep weight on the front end so your four-wheel drive is still effective. Here's how like this tractor is on the front end with no ballast. And now with the suitcase weights on the front end of the tractor, the front end is firmly planted. You can see I can't pick it up now like I could before without the weights on the front. To show the difference in pulling power with and without a ballast on the front, I've hooked the BX to the 4240 and I have the chain hooked on the three point hitch which you're really not supposed to do because the front end can raise up. And then I've also raked this hill up to make it a little harder to pull because the gravel were loose.
that the front end stays down, increases your pulling power if you have a four wheel drive tractor, and it makes the tractor easier to steer. It is really amazing how much more this little tractor will pull with the weights on the front of it. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.